This CNN podcast is brought to you by Vestas, number one in modern energy. He came home and asked me what... Hello and welcome to CNN's News of the Absurd. I'm Jared Bellini and this week... We're going to take a look at some things that are good and some things that are bad. Which is which? That's up to you to decide. And we start with a church in Jacksonville, Florida, who recently had a public burning of massive amounts of reel-to-reel archival footage from the golden age of American cinema. And by that, I mean old school porn. And I'd tell people that were buying the Playtime movie theater and say, oh, well, you know what it used to be? What it used to be was an adult movie theater, an outdoor, drive-in, stay-in-your-car porno theater. That had to have been weird. So when Christ Church Anglican finally moved into their new digs, they were more than a bit surprised to learn what else they had purchased. We would never have expected there still to be cases of, of pornography laying around, and, uh, and so there it was. Vintage porno. While joking that they own the largest adult movie collection of any church around, ultimately the congregation decided to be very ungiggity and destroy it. Thought what a better way to, to do that than to burn it. And of course we didn't want to get rid of it and have it out and about. No, wouldn't want to do that. Now, speaking of churches, here's a similar story from San Antonio, Texas, only this time, it wasn't porno that was being destroyed. It was the age-old American dream of having your car poorly washed by hot chicks in bikinis. Hey, wait a minute. You know, they changed it. I said, well, maybe, you know, they had a, a revelation on epiphany or something, you know. It would be the controversial bikini car wash, and they would be the new owners of the What Would Jesus Do car wash. It's just a big change, like a real big change. People. I think people would be real happy that we're here instead of having girls in bikinis. And just what would Jesus do? Well, he'd probably get the $12 full body detail. A great bargain, but not everyone is thrilled about the new look. I like to see bikini girls. My wife lives across the street. What's wrong with that? What he misses are the days of this, and this, and this. But others are pleased believing the what would Jesus do car wash will help change the entire atmosphere of the area. The cat calls and the whistling and and the accidents and the the traffic. Sorry, sorry, they're bikinis. So for now, bring out the kids and enjoy because it's just Christian music, fully dressed car washers, and that one lingering question. Finally, we end not with offensive movies or inappropriate outfits, but with words. Bad words, as so deemed by one middle school in Fresno, California. Bad words that students shouldn't be using on campus. <sighs> if only George Carlin was here. We, we obtained a list from an anonymous teacher that had to come forward to expose this list. So apparently, if you hand out to students a list of vulgar sex acts and slang derogatory names, some parents might not be overly pleased with the gesture. My son didn't know what all the words meant, and. He came home and asked me what uh, the slang for oral sex was. Awkward! I was outraged. I couldn't believe it. I was just dumbfounded. I couldn't understand why they would ever think this was a good idea. Of course, there was method behind the madness. The intent of the lesson was to be proactive and to make sure that our students aren't making inappropriate choices while they're on campus. Apologies have been made um, on behalf of the school because it's not our intent at all to offend any parent um, or to offend or startle any child. If you'd like to know what words were actually on the list, you won't get it here because our editor says this is supposed to be a family podcast. An intelligent person that's going to school shouldn't be using uneducated words. Well, that's all for this edition of News of the Absurd. I'm Jared Polini, and for all your family fun, we leave you with an old lady rapping. I want to move my lips and not my hips. I want to make darn sure nothing slips. I want to move my lips and not my hips. I want to make darn
Nothing slips. 